Okay, today we're talking to Ben Plasnick from Freshworks and Rowan Hanna from Pro CX. And they've just announced today uh, some of the results of their partnership where Probe's uh, enormous growth over the last couple of years uh, has had a whole series of challenges and part of that has to have been to automate a whole series of processes. Rowan, can you tell us what you've achieved in the last couple of years? Yeah, sure. So our business has gone through exponential growth. As you might imagine, over the last um, five years, we've gone from some 1,500 people to about 18,000 people across five different countries. So by any stretch of the imagination, that's uh, quite a number and comes with its own set of complexities and challenges. But what we fundamentally believe in is uh, fueling digital experiences for people. And part of that journey is not just customers, but also our employees. And our ITSM tool is a huge part of that with Freshworks. Um, and we've got a fresh service in play as a part of the enterprise architecture. Um, what we've been able to do there is really build a fundamental tool through the enterprise architecture that's available to fuel up and absorb new acquisitions, the current business, and build a whole lot of simplification and automation into the current engine that exists today. Something that we're incredibly proud of and certainly proud of the partnership as well. And ben, the challenges from your side, what's happened in that period of growth? How have you guys managed to match the scale? I think uh, Freshworks has had a similar um, growth explosion during our partnership. I mean, Freshworks itself grew over 2,000 people during the during the pandemic, and you know today I think when we started, um, we, I think we probably had 40,000 customers globally. Now we've got you know, 58,000 customers globally. So we have absolutely evolved as a business as per too. Okay. And next steps? Where do you see things happening over the next couple of years? So I think um, we've built the fundamental building blocks of a great outcome. Is how we see it. Uh, I talked about the tentacles are in. We've got integrations in play, we've got an incredible enterprise architecture, sweeps up analytics, data, information for the right decision making. Uh, we're already making a huge lot of progress in automation and simplifying that experience. And we talked about that today in some of the uh, Fireside chat that we had around ITSM automation. And the idea for us is to continuously, through our agile methodology, time box and continue delivering better experiences for our employees internally. And Ben, the lessons that you've learned, could you share what you what would you say to other companies who are looking to sort of automate and to and to systematically sort of um, deal with their scale issues, I guess? Well I think if we take what Brian's pro is they started with this back in twenty eighteen and they started small and started getting the value out of the platform very early on. Really? It's important to get your platform and your base right and then build build upon them. You can't do much around innovation and AI unless you've got a solid foundation and understanding of what you're trying to do and how you're going to do it. So my advice is, is get to get the basics right and then build upon them. So can I ask you both like, to give your own perspectives on where you see the future going, particularly in CX, and where does AI machine learning sit in that versus the other types of technologies, I guess, that you might be deploying? So I'll probably go first. I think in terms of all of those technologies coming in, um, businesses all around are going to get very, very structured around having the right tools, having the fundamentals in place that Ben talked about. And once those fundamentals are in play, then really using analytics and data-driven decisions around what the automation should look like, where's the bi biggest bang for your buck, when you actually talk about those automation layers, and building governance within the organization with real goals that are achievable and providing support to those people. So within our business, we've got a structured couple of FTEs, very small team, but they're dedicated to automation. They're sweeping up analytics. They're actually sweeping up where the problems are for the business, how long it takes for certain tasks, and that's all that they actually do. So there are goals set in play very, very early. Those metrics are really, really well known. And then what you're trying to do is optimize and receive feedback and constantly evolve and optimize that journey for employees and customers. Okay, cool, Ben? Yeah, um, I agree with everything Ryan, you just said, um, but on top of that, what, what what I'm seeing in the market is where businesses are moving to doing these innovations and automations for your employees. There's been a huge focus on customer, and now we're looking at making those same innovations 
around AI, chat, email, and bring it into, into the organization. Um, because as you said in your fireside chat, with the younger generation, they expect more. So when they come on board, they expect things to be easy. And now what everyone is doing is trying to move to that. Okay, all right, cool. Thanks for your time. Brilliant. Thank you, Thank you Michael.